So, uh, yeah, it was kind of, uh, kind of troublesome, actually. Yeah, put that in my mouth. But having to chew that, man, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to do a whole trusty spoon of that. Uh, kind of, yeah, it's kind of chewing and chewing and chewing, and the flakes are dried, so it's not kind of breaking down so easy. And, uh, having to swallow clumps of that at a time. And, uh, I'm sure my stomach is going to feel pretty, uh, knotted up. So, anyway, uh, flavor, yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of smoky, that dried smoky flavor going on there. Um, kind of, I did have a chili note. Uh, this, uh, again, uh, more about the texture than anything and the, and the heat. Uh, I did get a, did have a pretty decent flavor, kind of simple, kind of basic there. Just uh, those, uh, those smoky, those smoky notes going on and the, the chili taste. Wow. Uh, kind of lost some track of the sweetness of the jalokis. Uh, but uh, uh, definitely, uh, Definitely picking up on the heat. So hey, let me blow my nose one time here. Ah, oh, that has my nose going. Wow. Oh, if you don't mind, guys, I'm gonna grab my tissues over there. I shall return in one second. Oh. Oh. I feel we're gonna need these guys. So uh, yeah, here we have it. my right ear, uh, kind of getting clogged for all the loosening of my sinuses. So if you guys, honest to God, if you're, uh, if you're, uh, suffering from a cold or, uh, some blocked sinuses, pick yourself up some pure pain paste and, uh, that should loosen everything up. Man, I got a lot of these chunks just sitting around on the table, falling off the spoon. And, uh, yeah, all right. Well, hey, man, that was a really good, really good heat blast. Uh, my Actually, my left ear is clogged, and my right one is uh, was kind of feeling a little stuffed up, too. So, uh, wow, this is really uh, a time of year for bad sinuses, and I suffer from that, and this is really doing a number. I'm freeing those sinuses, so uh, bear with me. And, uh, uh, all right, kind of. Burn kind of coming down a little bit. My lips still really, really caught the full pattern lipstick. So, uh, well, I have this uh, kind of like hot, smoky note going on in my mouth. And, uh, and yeah, whew, hottest chili on earth. Wow, that's hot. So, uh, all right, hey, let's turn back to our letter. Get a chance to uh, continue on with our examination here of human sacrifice uh, in the Bible. Uh, last show. We introduced the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, uh, uh, who, uh, who was 100% uh, human, 100% God. Uh, it was God coming down in human form to, uh, to uh, suffer with all humanity and to uh, get an understanding of what humanity goes through and the temptations that we face. And uh, through Jesus Christ, uh, 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 living among, God living amongst us, okay, we will be saved through his sacrifice and sinless life. All right, so uh, what we're going to talk about today is uh, is the suffering of the Messiah, okay, before his crucifixion. All right, now, uh, Jesus was fully aware of his mission. Uh, I'm going to move the spoon, okay, guys? It's rattling here so we don't have, have any more interruptions. Um, so Jesus was aware that he was going to be suffering. All right, he knew that... Uh, that he was going to be rejected and uh, and ultimately die on the cross. Okay, so the question is, why did the Messiah have to suffer so much? Now we're in the Old Testament through the Psalms of David and the prophecies of Isaiah. 
it was predicted that the Messiah was going to be a suffering Messiah and not a military Messiah, which was still what the nation of Israel was hoping for, even in the time of Jesus. Okay, so why did Jesus have to suffer? Okay, now remember, okay, Jesus did go through a lot of physical suffering, okay? Uh, that is, uh, was one aspect of his suffering. But the main suffering Jesus went through was kind of more, I would say, an, an emotional suffering because uh, uh, while the physical suffering uh, was, was was horrendous enough, okay, and later uh, Christian followers and martyrs and, uh, uh, and, and such would suffer as well. So I've had some people already say to me, hey, other people suffered, but hey, you come back and tell them who bore all the sins of the world, okay? All at one time, okay? So, uh, Jesus' physical suffering, uh, a lot of that happened before his crucifixion. The crucifixion itself being an ultimate form of, of physical suffering and degradation, okay? But while on the cross, okay, Jesus bore the sins of everyone. So every time you read the paper and you look down and say, Hey, how could this person have done something so horrible as this? Or, or imagine having somebody doing this or that or this or whatever sin you think of her, regardless of how horrendous it is. Jesus bore all those sins of everybody all at one time in that moment of separation from God when he was hanging on the cross, okay? So the vast majority of the suffering was taking on all our sins on himself, a sinless person, taking being a sacrifice, taking all of our sins, and through his death and sacrifice of the sinless Lamb of God, okay? We discussed a little bit about the sacrifices of animals in the Old Testament days which covered sin. Here we have a spotless perfect Lamb of God who was 100% human being hanged on a cross and bearing the sins of everyone, okay? And all for our redemption of fallen people, of our redemption with God the Father, okay? So it's hard for me sometimes to understand why people do not accept the sacrifice of Jesus for their sins because... Hey, we're winners in this, you know? Uh, we, uh, we live our sinful lives here, so we're still under the curse of sin. But through faith in Him, uh, who bore our sins, okay, uh, we have redemption with God, and we will have the promise of eternal salvation and eternal joys. So, hey, what is the problem with that? Yeah, I know all everybody's out there saying, well, because it's not true, all right? Well, hey, uh... I, uh, I challenge you to prove that it isn't true, okay? And you can put all of your scientific theories and hypotheses together, and uh, you still can't prove it isn't true. So, hey, uh, what you want to do, when in doubt, hey, turn to Jesus. You can't lose. It's a no-lose situation. And uh, it would be nice for people, like this girl who wrote this letter, if she would read the Bible and understand the sacrifice, it was a sacrifice of love for the human race, that we would be redeemed through God's Son, Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, um, it would be nice for uh, some more understanding of the inerrant Word of God and what God's intentions were and what God's plans were for the human race. And... Uh, all you have to do, guys, pick up the Bible, read the Bible, and understand the, uh, the, uh, uh, the necessity of Jesus' suffering and His sacrifice for the sake of us. Hey, it was all for us. So, uh, hey, what kind of God would, uh, would bring Himself down to suffer for our benefit? Uh, the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Son Jesus Christ, and, uh, who are uh, one God in three parts. All right, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So hey, uh, I'll be back in eight to ten uh, with pure pain paste. This stuff was absolutely killer. So hey, be back. <laughs>